Hello, thank you for joining us for this virtual family day. Welcome! Today I'm going to be showing you how to create your own llama puppet. For this activity, you are going to need your llama template. You can find a printable version of this on our virtual family day page. You will also need a pencil, scissors, crayons. Optional items are pom-poms, sequins, and then if you will be using the optional items, we're going to be using glue to connect them to the template. Llamas are closely associated with Andean cultures. They are used for things like transportation, but also for wool. So I want you guys to take a minute and think about some of the textiles you may have around your home. If you'd like to be inspired by the Andean textiles, you can also visit the BMFA Collections website. We're going to take a moment and we're going to design our template. So, now that you have designed your llama template, we are going to go back in and we're going to color in our llama. So traditionally, llamas are white or brown, but your llama can be any color. I'm thinking today I want a green llama. Did you know that llamas can be as tall as six feet? They can carry up to 130 pounds, up to 15 to 20 miles. They're gentle, but they're also super intelligent. They'll chase off predators as they herd sheep. And they can weigh up to 250 pounds. Wow. So right now I'm just finishing up coloring my covering and a covering is like a saddle-like garment for the llama so it protects the llama while it's carrying or transporting the goods. Llamas are also herbivores, but they definitely like to be treated well. They're very, very gentle beings. So now that we have our llama completely colored, we are going to go ahead and cut out our llama. So now that you have your llama all cut out, we're gonna go ahead and cut out the circles where you'll end up inserting your fingers. So the easiest way to do this would be to slightly bend your llama, make a small cut, and then go ahead and finish cutting out the rest of the circle. So now that you have your llama completely cut out, we are going to go ahead and add on some of our additional items. So if you have any pom-poms, if you have any sequins, any yarn, or anything else at the home that you would like to add, we're going to be using glue to do this. We only need to add a little bit of glue, dot, dot, not a lot, on where you think you would like your pom-poms or your sequins for your additional items to be. For me, I'm doing mine around the covering of the llama. And after you add them on there, you just wanna give them a gentle press down onto the template to make sure they're secure.
So after you've let your sequins or your pom-poms or your optional items dry, you are now able to use your new llama finger puppet. You may insert your fingers here if you'd like to, or you can put it up.